I want to go back to um, something we were talking about, and this is going to be a little bit of introduction into 8.3. So now we're doing 8.3. That was the extent of 8.2. You guys have some problems we'll work on practicing. Um, here's just a little bit of 8.3, and I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of introduction of what we've been talking about. So, so far, ladies and gentlemen, we did a problem like this. Okay? We did a problem like this, right? Something similar to this, or oh, maybe I'll even make it easier and I'll just say five. Okay? So we did a problem like this. You guys know you guys had an idea of what to do. I said, hey, the bases aren't the same. So we have to write eight raised to what power, which we'll just call that power C. I'm sorry. Two raised to what power equaled eight. Right? That's what we tried to do. Because we knew that these power, these bases had to be exactly the same. So we said 2 raised to a number, a random number that we don't know, has to equal 8. And in this example, we said, well, c equal 3. right? So there's actually a notation, ladies and gentlemen, that we can actually use for this. And let me go and explain. Let me go and talk about it a little bit different way. Remember we talked about the graph, right? I said the graph looked like this. y equals b to the x. This was the graph for our exponential function. So we're going to go back to 8.1 real quick. Here's the graph for exponential functions. If I wanted to find the inverse, like on your chapter 7 test, the first thing you want to do on your inverse is swap the x and the y's, right? So you swap your x and y's, and you're left with x equals b to the y. Right? Now, kind of compare this to what we have over here, right? This is saying b raised to what value of y gives you c. Now, we need to figure out what y is to find the inverse, right? We need to solve for y, correct? When you find the inverse, you swap x and y's, and then you solve for y. But we're kind of stuck here, right? We, do, we haven't worked on an inverse operation of raising something to a power. So we need to say b raised to what, pow what power or b raised to y is going to equal x. So what we can do to solve for y, ladies and gentlemen, is say this. y, y equals the log of base b raised to the x. OK? So I'm introducing a new notation. And what does log mean? So when you guys look at log, you're like, Log, what does log exactly mean? Log means b raised to what power gives you x. OK? I'll say it again. b raised to what power gives you x. Is that exactly what we're kind of saying here? 2 raised to what power gives you 8? OK? Yes. That just, it, it means, um, not if we're on this, but this is just kind of going between like this is equal and that's equal. You could say that these two are equal as well. It's a really an if and only if situation, but I just want you to see like this, this equation is equal to this one. Okay? So what, so these are exactly the same. They're just written in different forms. This is equal to b raised to the y power which is the same thing as y equal to log base b of x. What does log represent again? Log represents b raised to what power equals x. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call the logarithmic form. And this is what we call exponential form. So all I'm going to ask you guys to do.